In the last video, we told you why you need to be on TikTok. In this one, we're gonna tell you how you can get in front of those near 1 billion people as a musician. There's a bit of a perception that TikTok is only good for viral tweens covering Drake for the 18th million time. That is simply not true in 2020. As well as helping Nottingham's own Young Team Bugsy go iTunes top 10 in America, artists like Surfaces, Doja Cat, and Roddy Rich have all found huge success via TikTok. To be successful on a platform, you do have to take an approach that is very different to your other social media platforms though. Why? Okay, well, we need to note here what we're about to say does go against everything music stands for. There's a reason that I'm here. Mark couldn't even stand to be in the same room talking about this. TikTok, at its core, is about using other people's songs. We hate covers, but we do exist to help not only musicians, and right now, using TikTok is the best way to build your audience for your own music. Very few musicians who have found success on TikTok use their own music, it's just how it is. Rather, they've used already popular songs or trends and then put their own spin on them, whether that's in a performative way or in a comedic way. Here's three suggestions on how you can use it yourself as a musician. First up, covers. They are one of the easiest and most effective ways to grow on TikTok. You gotta find out the songs that are trending via the trending page and then add your own spin on it. TikTok has its own artist portal, helpfully called TikTok for Artists, which will allow you to upload your own recorded audio rather than lip sync. And that is how you do your acoustic take on a banger, a trap remix of a delicate Bonnevere song. Whatever your quickie idea, there's already an audience there that is easy to get in front of, so do it. Do it! Number two, trending topics. Similarly to covers, but it's kind of the personality version. You'll be aware that a lot of TikTok trends are dancers, comedic challenges, through to lip syncing along to a famous line from a TV show. Again, look at what is trending. Make your own version of that trend, capture some followers, and then, number three, bring in your own music. In theory, if all you wanna do is put clips of your music video and you belting out the song you call the next Wonderwall. Cause maybe. In the shower, you can. It just won't be seen by anyone. However, building that audience and the engagement through the previously mentioned steps will build an audience that wants your music. Once you've done that, use it in slowly. If you're posting a TikTok every day, make one post a week about your own music. Pre-warning, it will do significantly worse than your other content because it's not associated with a trending topic, but if you persist with your consistent strategy, the engagement rate will increase. Now you may be thinking, Sam, basically all you've told me is do covers, get famous. I know that, but I'm fucking sick of playing Ed Sheeran songs. And that would be a fair point, dear viewer. But you gotta think of TikTok as a little differently. You gotta think of TikTok as less a way of communicating your own music and your message, but more as a marketing platform. Now by that I mean, assuming you're not paying, Insta, Facebook and Twitter is where you entertain fans you've already captured, right? TikTok, you need to see as a marketing tool to capture new fans is the single best way to reach a huge amount of people for free, but to do that, you'll be pushing content where the initial focus is not your music. It will be, just not at the beginning. Think of it this way. If one of your trending dancers or covers that you've done hits over a million views, which is reasonably easy on TikTok, you capture just a tiny percentage of that audience, everything else starts to grow. It trickles down, Spotify, Insta, Facebook. It's at this point we do have to acknowledge that one of the key points from the last video is still very relevant here. You've not got long to reap TikTok's incredible exposure, because it's only gonna be a matter of weeks, maybe months if we're lucky, before the advertising platform is enforced the same way as Facebook, and you're stuck dancing to Drake in front of your cat and your mum. Hi mum. If you're thinking, why should I care then? Think of it this way. If you act sooner rather than later, you could get the amount of new followers that 500 pounds to maybe 5,000 pounds what the Facebook advertising would get you, and it's all free. I'm gonna give you a final few tips that are quite similar to other social media etiquette and platforms, so we won't spend too long on them, but they still will help your TikTok master plan. Think about the time you post. For a UK musician with a fan base primarily in the UK, you wanna be posting between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. every day of the week, except for Saturday, because normally when we're not on lockdown, people are at gigs. Account basics. Make, make sure you're handling your profile picture the same as the other social media profiles you have, and your bio should link to your music, whether that's Spotify or Apple Music, maybe a link tree that goes to them all. And finally, engagement. Be nice. Comment on other artists' TikToks, like them, follow loads of musicians in your musical family, and you may even get some of that love back. And finally, and most importantly, remember it's only famous. Yeah.